Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, February 27th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. Researchers from the University of Cambridge, Rice University, and SRI International took another look at Thunderbolt. Now, Thunderbolt has had some well known issues and Really, the type of issue went back all the way, I think, at least to FireWire. The problem here is that pretty much these interfaces are providing some form of direct memory access. So someone connected to these interfaces, in theory, would be able to read arbitrary memory. Now, in Thunderbolt, actually, vendors did address this issue with input-output memory management units, these IOM. MMUs, as they're called, can be used to limit what memory a particular peripheral device has access to. But turns out that even though many modern operating systems support IO MMUs, most of them, actually all but Mac OS, do not have them enabled. And in some cases, the implementations are also far from perfect. One vulnerability in macOS, for example, allowed attackers to execute arbitrary code. However, this vulnerability was fixed by Apple back in 2016. To experiment with Thunderbolt, these researchers actually implemented a network card in software that they then connected via Thunderbolt to the test system. And by implementing network card in software after it was recognized as a network card by the operating system, they were then able able to essentially interact via the Thunderbolt port at will. Well, the quick lesson here is be careful with what you're connecting to Thunderbolt. Like I said, the same applies to other ports as well. Also, be somewhat careful with cables, in particular with Thunderbolt. Most of the cables that you're using aren't actually just passive pieces of copper, but they actually do include some circuits. And we got some pretty interesting research looking into how to bypass PDF signatures. If you digitally sign a PDF, the assumption is that an attacker wouldn't be able to alter a signed PDF, or if an attacker alters the PDF, it would be obvious and marked as invalid in commonly used PDF readers. Researchers at the Ruhr University of Bochum and Hackemannit uh, did look into this and found three different ways how PDF readers can be fooled into believing that an actually altered PDF document document has been properly signed. The first uh, particular vulnerability is actually quite trivial and sort of a little bit amazing that it works. What they're doing here is that they take the existing signature object that's part of the PDF, but they add invalid content to it. So what happens now is that the signature object can no longer be properly parsed by the PDF reader. Now, you would expect that this would essentially just show up as an invalid signature. Instead, it appears that some PDF readers, at least, will still show parts of the signature as valid. The second issue is actually something that I've seen with sort of other signed documents, like, for example, XML signatures. And the problem here is that you take a signed document and then you add additional content to it. Again, you would expect that this would fail signature validation. But what's sometimes happening is that the reader will just verify the signed part, which of course is still valid, but then parse and display the entire document, including the addition that was added outside the signed and protected part of the document. Popular applications like, for example, Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Reader, and a Foxit reader are vulnerable to some of these problems. And it's not the only ones, it's a couple dozen different readers for different operating systems that the researchers tested and found vulnerable to be at least one of these problems. And if you're using NVIDIA video cards, it's time to update the drivers. NVIDIA did release updates for Windows, Linux, FreeBSD, and Solaris, fixing a number of different vulnerabilities. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.